Hey, so Salient just put out a tremendous update, a 2020 April update, literally, I believe on the 19th. Um, I wanted to go through all of the different cool stuff, all the new features, the new benefits of the update. Uh, Theme Nectar has outdone himself. He's the author of Salient. And um, I was uh, a little taken back by it, but I wanted to go in there, show you guys uh, as many of the different elements as I can. Uh, and I'm, at first, first I'm going to go through the change log, kind of do a quick overview of it. And I'm going to try to go and go through as many as I can. There's a lot, so I probably won't go through all of them, but I'll go through the, 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 the major ones. And um, I'll start with the demo since that'll give you a true feel. Because usually, especially on these pat on these most recent demos, uh, Salient has uh, he's put in a lot of the new stuff in the demos themselves. So it it'll be a great place to start. Um, so and then finally, I'll go ahead and create a quick page using uh, Salient's new features and kind of going through the different features so that you can kind of see in real time uh, what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna minimize myself a little bit. There we go. And let's go through it. Okay, so the new stuff here, right? This this is a great capture of, you know, a, lot, a, little, a little stuff, but let's, um, let's see. So, these are this is all the different stuff if you don't know theme nectar puts out a change log and it lets you see the different versions which are very helpful and so a lot of this stuff you know the grading coloring add new style to this is just so amazing and of course he fixed a lot of great stuff too a lot of stuff too so let's go ahead and go through the demo real quick the demos so that all, a lot of this will make a lot more sense um because a lot of these features in the page builder elements for example um are they're in the page builder element so it'll make more sense but it'll make sense once you see it from this perspective first um i think i'm pretty sure uh theme nectar does it that way for a reason um so this one is really cool this is a slightly new header uh it looks a lot like the others but it does have a nice down pointing arrow uh, this is also uh, in the page builder element itself um this is relatively this is th this has been here for a while but i think he updated the menu i the menu option like with the drop shot a little bit which is really cool this is similar to one of the other temp uh, uh templates in the build already but it is slightly changed with this modification here and uh with the with the text overlapping the image a bit and it looks really nice. Okay, so the, the, these, this and this style, we'll see like that, that is new. That is new right there, that is never. And I, and I like that because, you know, Salian is kind of urging you to be a better copywriter. He's really kind of pushing you to be a better, uh, to help you captivate your audience with your messages and text and the way you use your messaging with the power, power of the, uh, the theme as well. Um, and I, I, I've always found that to be refreshing with Salient, is that he's always kind of thinking about the copy too. He's not just thinking about design. This is a new one. Um, I mean, it's all going to be new relatively, but um, you'll see this in the page builder as well, this section, which I really, really like. I think it's so cool. This is cool. This is a new feature. I've never seen this before. Um, I think it's all right. I'm not like, you know, head over heels about it. Um, but you know maybe it may be your thing um that is that is the same as another uh, this is new this is completely new this rolling text and you also have that in the page builder itself which is really dope um i think yeah this is also in there as well so beautiful beautiful demo wonderful lots of different elements you can play with love it but my favorite one is this one, the protecting our diverse wildlife one. Just beautiful. This is a new header, and it as soon is right now becoming my very favorite header. And the other thing you gotta also see is that it's it has an, a unique effect, and he I think he added that effect. I'm not sure if it's been in there, 
Um, I could be wrong. And this is a new uh, off canvas, which he specifies in the chain logs, uh, in the change log as well. Uh, he specifies nearly all of it, but um, that's a different element, of course, utilizing this new element or, or this new uh, feature where it highlights over the text. This is a beautiful new element. Um, well, actually, this actually kind of looks the same, but the way he actually designs it in the builder, I swear is different, is much, much different from, it's, it's, it's a new one for sure. It just uses this and something else. It's kind of interesting. I, I wonder why I, I, he just added a, a design that's cool. Um, I believe this is new as well. Okay, yeah, using that. And this is in the page builder as well. So, and this, this is a new call to action. And these are all in the, in the salient page builder. And if you don't know, uh, well, I'm, I'm assuming since you're watching this video, you do know, but when I say page builder, Salient has a, what's called a Salient Studio, which utilizes, you know, templates feature, which I've seen even with Elementor, they have templates, but it's, uh, it's very underwhelming. Um, but there's a lot of different, th but that's kind of why you buy themes with Elementor, because a lot of times they'll have demos and templates, but sometimes they, they only have demos and they don't have temp extra templates. So you kind of have the whim of Elementor or just your own design, which is fine, but I, I just have a kinship with this uh, you know, design itself. Um, so let's go ahead, and now that you've seen them, um, let's go ahead and build a little bit so you can kind of see them in action. Okay, this is my test site. Um, okay, so I'm gonna use this agent. So, so as you can see, check it out, Aegis Hero. It kind of seems sprinkled throughout the new the new ones, and I can spot them. Yeah, there we go. Theme dual, and then these are beautiful new ones that I just love so much. I just don't know why. I just I love them so much. They're so so unique. Um, beautiful minimal design, very powerful at the same time. Okay, so we'll do this one. H zero. And then I'll do another another one of my favorites. Oh, this is a beautiful clean dual CTA. I'll just go ahead and do that since it's already right there. And then these are oh cool. and th this is cool too, dark wellness gradient. So that's the other thing you have to remember is that he a lot of times theme necker adds elements, he adds um he adds Salient Studio elements that even aren't in the demo that you would think that they would be. Um, or he, these are basically just variations of the white wellness gradient, which is really cool. But it's still pretty cool that he adds extra stuff that aren't just in the demos. The other thing too is, let's see, where were we? So I don't, I'm not going to do too much because I don't want to waste your time here. Okay. I'll just do these three. Okay, now we have our three elements. Let's uh, move this one above this one. Yeah, there we go. A quick little landing page. Love it. Okay, so, um, so if we go through the change log here, there's self-hosted video player, and that's in the salient, the studio itself. Um, the scrolling text, that is um, this baby right here. See that scrolling text? That's what that is, really cool feature. Um, and when he says added X and, tra and translate X forms for, for page builder columns, and that's the other thing I wanted to, I'm going to go over is when you now if if you look in the new row settings, you're going to see a whole new different layout, and it, it's really amazing. Um, for example, now you can see the uh, preview for your your color overlay, um, which is awesome. Then you can also enable gradient. Um, well, that's been there, but 
the probably the big thing that he's talking about is for different viewable options for the desktop and the iPad. You can actually set different uh, padding parameters for each, um, which I think is going to be so helpful because the, and the way you kind of view that is that if you go to 100 and then you save, you see how there's no padding now? But if you go to the iPad version, let's see. Go to tablet, yeah, you can see that there's a there's a change. See? Actually put that back to default. Okay. So that to me is huge. It's a tremendous help, especially with mobile, it makes things a lot easier, especially when things look just really weird on mobile. And some things do with salient, or not salient specifically, but just literally any theme, even, even with Elementor, which is unfortunate. Um, and let's see here. So if you've noticed all, so as you look through, the CN types as we look through the demo, all those new functionalities and the functionality that I just told you covers a lot of what the salient, um, of what the new salient update is. And there is a lot more to explore here. Really, it's a lot of see the self clean self hosted video, which now is self hosted, which is cool uh, that you have that option. Um, and if you look through the template, uh, the salient studio, there's a lot of new templates and that is it for the most part there are some cool the other cool things like nuances that he not only fixed a lot of issues but he also um like for example you can remove the nectar love if some people don't like using the nectar love with the social media icons um, but for the most part it's a lot of changes to the salient studio and the demos that you've seen here um, and the options that i showed you uh for the the padding uh, uh, for the different mobile options, which is a huge thing that is that just makes Salient so much closer to being, in my opinion, like the perfect theme. Because um, uh, the builder itself, it works really well with it now. One of my biggest complaints, which wasn't that big, but one of my complaints about Salient was that the mobile responsiveness, but that's literally with everything. It's just that this theme is so great at everything. I wish it would be great at mobile. And now Theme Nectar obviously has listened to that, or he knows about it, he's known about it. He's not listened to me specifically, but he, um, he, he already knows that and he's working on probably even more uh, steps to make it even easier. The, to me, I feel like this is a great step in the right direction. It's not quite there um, where in terms of mobile responsiveness, but like n nobody is really there for that. There's always, I mean, I, I thought Elementor was that for a while, um, but there's still some snags there. You know, it, it doesn't work as well as I thought it did, um, especially with different elements, different themes. It starts getting a little kooky. Um, with this one, you don't have to worry about all the different themes with the builder. Uh, you just, because the builder is inherent with the theme, um, and Nectar has done an amazing job with that. Um, so, so I hope this helped you. Let me know if it did. Um, let me know if there's any questions. Um, I'm probably gonna do a bit more on the mobile responsiveness and to kind of like take you through how to really do a mobile friendly site. I don't, I haven't really seen anything out there like that for saline specifically or even for a good WordPress tutorial on it. So um, let me know what you think and um, you know, uh, wish you the best.